Hello and welcome to episode 1 of 8 Junoon presented by ESL of UPG College an exclusive speaker series that will make listening to meaningful conversations your junoon for our very first episode we have a very kind hearted and a sweet soul presenting to you avantika kampan she's a 14 year old entrepreneur who has her own venture named seek she creates effective learning tools for toddlers and she has already come a long way Thank you so much for having me here. It's time to begin uh, with our very first segment. So let's have like a warm up segment where I'll be asking you this or that questions and you have to like you know select one out of the two options that you prefer and you have okay. to be quick, all right? Are you a morning person or a night person? Morning person. Logic or emotions? Emotions. Books or movies? Book Would you rather skip a meal or lose on sleep? Skip a meal. Pizza or pasta? Pasta. Night in or night out? Night in. Messy locker, tidy locker. Tidy. Tattoos or piercings? Tattoos. Okay. Uh for the last one, would you rather be embarrassed or be afraid? be embarrassed okay you answered pretty well and i guess we all have kind of understood uh, how avantika is as a person so without further ado let's move on to our main segment for the interview session i'll be asking you questions and you just have to just go with the flow all right so uh, the very first question how and when did you get the idea of your brain child see So, uh, Seek was definitely heavily influenced by the way um, I was brought up and my brother was brought up, and um, the things that my mother used um, for our learning as infants. But the sort of trigger for the product was when um, I lived with my first cousin when he was just born. So for those six months when I was living with a child, and I was around an, in, in, an infant for so long. and for such long hours and taking care of him sort of babysitting him i realized that he was always asking questions looking around um grabbing things holding on to them and this spark of curiosity that i saw within him um got me thinking i was thinking about um if they if children want to learn and have this passion for learning when they're born why don't we put them in an environment of active learning uh, so that's when my research started on seek um and i began to learn um more about early brain brain development and child psychology and i started start studying about that um and then all of it sort of pieced together and i came up with the venture seek okay that's certainly very amazing and i i think you're very observant when it comes yeah. to you know uh, observing things so in continuation to the previous question who was your mentor in the building stages of seek So um I enrolled in this program called YEA Young Entrepreneurs Academy and there um I brought them my idea and they taught me everything the ABCs of business from legalities trademarks copyrights to all the financials like revenue on um, that profit um, uh, marketing everything was taught to me by them I, my mentors were um, uh, mr atit sangvi and ms garima jindal and ms namita thapar and they guided me through the um, from its inception to its execution and, and helped my dream come true for sure and i owe a lot to them for teaching me everything that i know today because without their help i wouldn't be where i am today right true i mean that's very important you know learning yeah, and sure. you yeah. right So uh with regards to your startup could you share the most memorable achievement so far So um once i started the program YA we were given the opportunity to pitch to investors first it was local investors and national investors just in india and um i placed first there and from there i was given the opportunity to pitch in the YA USA competition which is an international competition where i pitched my venture to international investors and i placed second and i was the first indian to ever have done this uh, so that was definitely is definitely my most memorable achievement because i did not think that i would get there 
at all and when i did it was a really fulfilling moment to share um what was what an idea that i'm so passionate about and something that for a while was just a dream to so many people across the globe firstly that is a pretty huge achievement so congratulations for that thank you and so also congratulations for featuring in femina i read your article yeah that was so also I- a really surreal moment because i've read that newspaper when i was growing up and uh, sorry magazine when i was growing up and to see myself in it it's sort of <laughs> yeah it it's certainly a huge achievement so congratulations for that all right uh, so let's move let's drift a little away from the question and answer session and i'll give you a situation okay so just let's escape reality imagine mm-hmm. if you woke up with 5 crores in your bank account how would you use them Hmm. Okay, so I would allot some amount of money to growing Seek and my business. Another amount of money to help me with my music because that's something I'm extremely passionate about. I would love to get into a studio, begin recording songs that I've written, and sort of put them out. Um, a lot of my money would definitely go into helping NGOs and with charities. Um, um. probably to do with mental well-being and uh, children who have disabilities because um i think that's another thing that i'm extremely passionate about and i think i'd save the rest <laughs> or take a vacation to new york yeah right i think i would do the same about the vacation part okay so um in continuation to uh, you know you mentioned about you being passionate about music so yeah. what all hobbies you know do you have So music is definitely my biggest hobby. I've been in theater, music, dance ever since I was a child. I think I was dancing ballet before I could walk properly, um, and I was singing songs before I could talk. So music has definitely been something that's influenced my life heavily. And theater as well. I've performed in multiple um, plays and productions as lead roles, and of course in the chorus. and art and design i designed the product seek using um a, a, at first when i first designed it in the first mock up i used procreate and digital design to sort of make the product so art has always been one of my biggest hobbies music and theater right i must say you have really you know you have like built yourself from the very beginning so that is very commendable mm-hmm. All right. So, uh this is a question that most, you know, uh young entrepreneurs have in mind. How to manage studies and, you know, your business. So, how do you manage studies and your startup? So, I think that was probably also the biggest roadblock that I faced because when it comes to my academics, I'm definitely I can definitely say that I'm a perfectionist. My I grades have always been extremely important to me. So when taking on something as big as a venture and also balancing grades I understand why that a question from um other people looking to start their own ventures. But I think it's also an extremely personal question it really depends on the person for me. In the beginning I found it hard to strike that balance, but I started started making sort of a time day for my week for my month setting goals for my month and then each uh, a timetable for my day and sort of seeing how i could fit things in and once i started working on these timetables sticking to my to do list i found a balance between not only my academics and the venture but also my social life so i had some time to spend with my family and my friends i think um a lot of them watching would have already you know gotten an idea on how they on, on on the importance of time management and you know setting yeah. schedules basically so that's nice of you you know at the age of 14 you've been able to like sort your entire like schedule and time well so i think that's not all of it perfect um there's always some days where you feel like you're lacking you haven't done as much but um it once you hit a sort of pace it goes steady yeah right Okay uh so you mentioned about having roadblocks okay so um we all have moments where we go through you know obstacles in life so could you share a moment when you had to like self up by saying apna time aayega i love Did this you? question um for me definitely there's one specific one that always comes to my mind is when it was my first investor pitch and my final exams they were going on in the same week at the same time and both equally important to me 
um so that was definitely a moment where i was extremely flustered and i didn't know whether i was giving my all to both where i was lacking if i would manage to exceed in both um with in the way that i wanted to um so the in that moment i really was supported by my friends supported by my family and of course supported by myself and i was like no vantika you can do this i'm sure uh, so that was definitely that moment for me right you know self motivation and support from family and friends is like you know the the push we need like it push. is something we push. need you know from time to time for sure okay so we've already reached the last question but you know this is a very common question yet it requires you know different perspectives so what would you convey to young entrepreneurs out there you know a message that you would like to convey i think for me it's very simple it's go for it um when you're young a lot of people are telling you no this is not the age that you should be starting a venture study uh, later for finish your education focus on school and then look about uh, look into starting a business later but if you have an idea and if you believe that you can give your heart and soul your blood sweat and tears your time your energy to your idea and take it from inception to execution work on it and spend time with it because a business is basically like your own child if you're willing to give that time and that effort that patience because of course there are failures and successes then i think you should just go for it block out what everyone else is saying and do what you feel like doing and that's what's most important you know this really shows how passionate and dedicated you are for seek so uh, avantika your journey till now has been very awe inspiring and i wish you good luck for upcoming Thank endeavors you. And I know you're gonna, and I know you're gonna prosper, and you know, like just reach heights. But you know, as we say, this is just the start. You have a long way to go. For sure. So this was it for the very first episode of Eight Junoon, presented by Esel. See you soon, for we will be back. Until then, take a leap and paint it red. Thank you.